there Mouseketeers, it's Kate from Princess Minnie here and it has been a hot minute since I opened one of the amazing Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes boxes and so I'm super excited to get a little bit of Disney merchandise fix especially in the midst of all this craziness that is going around in our country and around the world right now um, clearly not getting to Disney World is not the worst thing that's going on but we could all use a little bit of Disney magic and Disney sunshine I think so I hope that this brings a smile to your face and I hope that uh there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Now, just to give you a teeny little bit of backstory and then we'll get right into this box. For December, I actually ordered one of each of the levels that Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes at the time currently offered. I believe there's one additional tier now um, at the $100 ish price point but so I had gotten four boxes from their lowest tier all the way up to their ultimate magic tier and I really loved every box that I got um, I will have a list of all my Bibbidi Bobbidi unboxings if you would like to check them out they're in my description box down below um, and then I intended for those boxes in December to really be it for me for a while um, just saving up some money not splurging on Disney subscription boxes but I actually forgot to cancel all four of them so they auto renewed the girls at Bibbidi were awesome and they were like we can just cancel that for you you know we probably you know, that probably wasn't your intention and I was like you know I would feel really bad if I did that to them so I decided uh, what we worked out is they would send me one box for the next four months so it's like I just prepaid for four boxes and then that was it so um, essentially this box is my January box I know it's April <laughs> I've been away from YouTube for a while so this box has just been sitting here burning a hole on my carpet right like screaming at me to open it and this will be the lowest tier box which I absolutely loved what which I got in December so this is the dreams box and um, so then the following month which was February I got the next tier then I got the next tier and then this month the end of April I'll get the ultimate magic again so I do get to open all the four tiers one more time so stay tuned for those future videos make sure you're subscribed let's get into this as I'm opening this beautiful box I will let you know that I did have one little hiccup in December. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, oh, <laughs> you guys were totally off camera. I'm like super close to the camera today. So um, that's a really nice sight. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, I will let you know that one of my items arrived broken in December in one of the boxes. So the girls said they would either issue me a refund um, or First, the first thing that they would try to do would be to replace the ornament that came broken, which I would prefer. I'd prefer to actually have the um, intact ornament than um, a refund anyway. So I'm really curious to see if this, this would have been my next box from that one, if there's maybe that ornament in here in addition to what should be in the dreams box anyhow or if there's maybe like an additional 20 something dollars worth of merchandise as like a refund. I'm really not sure, let's find out together. So there is this super cute uh, Robin Hood little postcard. Do you like that movie? I, I haven't seen it in so long. And now I will say I got a quick note about your box. This box has fewer items of higher value as opposed to more items of lesser value. We hope you love it. I believe that in my preferences, um, I had the option to like surprise me. It's kind of nice to be surprised. And then I will put my spoiler alert to the side and look at that at the end. Right, I'm pretty sure there's a plushie in here. I mean, this box really didn't want to fully close anyway, and it feels like a plushie friend is trying to jump out. So I'm gonna just rip open in this tissue paper and see oh this is super darling what do we have here oh this is lovely it is a mini mouse plush oh she is so cute she's super spring timey I wonder if she is a Disney Parks exclusive uh, maybe somebody can let me know was she like for flower and garden but this was my January box. Does anybody know where this beautiful little Minnie Mouse would have come from? She is very pretty. Uh, 
I do have a mini back here. She's my Epcot Minnie Mouse. I do love that one. That's one of my favorite plushies. That's why she's in my background currently. This is very sweet. I'm kind of just ambivalent about it. Like, I would not have picked this up for myself, but she's actually, like, one of the softest Minnie Mouse plushes. Like, her shoes are super grabbable and squishable. She's one of the softest ones I've had, so I could see her maybe being out in the background of videos for, like, springtime or something. But, yeah, let me know if you know or... I mean, I guess there's a lot of red. I guess she could have been a Valentine's Day plush. I really don't know. But I do like her. She is very, very sweet. So I'm going to prop her up in the background and see what next is in the box. Okay, definitely something else. I think we have a theme here, friends. This is like a tea towel set. And you have Mickey and Minnie. And they're sharing an ice cream sundae. That is really sweet. The artwork is gorgeous. I love the roses on it. And then there are some cherries that are, oh, some of them, like this one's a Mickey shape. That is really cute. I like this. Um, something like this, I worry, is going to get very dirty. So I'm gonna have to take extra good care of it. And then this will be great for actually like drying dishes or something like that. So more like uh, this, one is definitely more practical, I find, but this is definitely lovely, so I'm very excited. See, to me, this looks extremely springy, extremely springtimey, so I am, ex I am very, very excited to have this out now. Okay, I think that was it. There were just two items. Um, okay, let's take a look at the <laughs> spoiler alert card and see what it says. Just the two items. The Dreams box, the total retail value was $50. There were the two items. There was Minnie Mouse. She was the more expensive item. It says Retro Floral Dress Shop Minnie Mouse, and she was $30. And then the tea towel set, $20. Um, so I don't see, it. like obviously I did not actually get the replacement for the ornament. And I also don't see like an extra value in here. Now I will say I still have February and March's boxes. I currently have those and I'm gonna film them soon and put them up pretty, like fairly quickly. So again, stay tuned to that. Um, I guess I would just say that this is not really, this doesn't really feel like a box for me. Like, and I haven't felt that before with Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. They're both really, really nice. And I like both products. Um, but I'm kind of surprised that this is what was picked for me. Um, now there was a note in the box that said like, we noticed you haven't updated your preferences or something like that, but they've had my preferences for about a year-ish now. So I guess I would assume they would currently know. And the reason they don't have my preferences anymore is because I canceled my sus subscriptions. I knew I was prepaying for the four boxes and then I canceled. So I don't know if they couldn't access it or something so i think these were nice i'm a little bit just kind of like neutral towards this box nice but not exactly me i guess i'll keep you updated in the next video if the ornament issue ever gets resolved again i'm gonna put that video up fairly soon um i will say that i've got these ears in a previous box they were the betsy johnson like designer ears and i'm so happy that i have those and i also just want to share my shirt with you guys really quickly if you were spider-man marvel fans it says peter tingle it's from a funko pop box that I order through Amazon and that was something I just unboxed so if you'd like to see the other things I got in that subscription box see if maybe that's a good fit for you or someone that you know it's a really inexpensive subscription then I will also put a link to that down below so you can check that out too let me know what you thought about this box um, if you have any feelings about 
you know, the products, if you really like them, if they would have been perfect for you, um, or and also a really easy way to support my channel is just to drop a comment and hit the thumbs up button. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon.